Hello everybody! Come on in, come on into the studio. <coughs> oh, studio cough already. So yesterday, I've put that in the front so it doesn't annoy me now. Yesterday, I did June the 2nd and I did June the 3rd. So today is June the 4th and it's going to be a double page because it was already done. This is obviously something that I've done in class. So it's just a matter now of deciding what do I want to add to it. It looks a little plain for me, so let's have a look. Maybe a, maybe a sticker. Have some. Um... Oh, I, oh, about in here. Sticker book one. Hang on. Let's see. Oh. Oh, I quite like that one. That one could do. But I don't really want to colour it. Have we got? Oh, there's. Same size, I can't remember, it should be the same size. That could, let's have a look. I don't know if it's too big. Oh, I quite like that. There we go. And at least I can write somewhere. And then because this has got dots, I can just line it up so it's straight always go with your first choice it's just like you know you don't want to waste time oh by the way this was a stamp that's not available anymore this was one of the stamp and stencil borders um and you can't get that anymore but everything else on here you can get okay so let me just i might use some more stickers but let me just pop that in there and let me just outline because it's not official. Oh, I just made a real boo-boo there, but I'm not bothered. It's not official until I have outlined it. Okay, so now this is typical of one of my to-done lists. <clears throat> I hate to-do lists. I think they're the most oh dreadful things on the planet because if you write a to-do list and then and you tick it off when you've done it. If you've got, say, what's here, six things on your to-do list and you only do two, you don't feel accomplished, you just feel sad. Well, this is how I feel. I feel unaccomplished because I feel as though I haven't done all the things that were on my list. So I don't do a to-do list, I do a to-done list. And in fact, I should have a stamp. I'm sure one of my stamps says to done. Let me find it. Oh, hang on. Not that one. Not that set. Month, year. Not that one. Maybe I don't. Maybe I'm making it up. Or is it in the diary? It might be in the diary stamp set. Hang on. Or it's in stickers and it's one that I've talked about making. Oh, yeah, there. To, to do. So, um... There's a to-do and I've talked about making a to-done. So I'm just going to change it into a to-done. Okay, I have, by the way, I have all my diary stuff in this little basket here. Can you see I have my stamps, uh, my ink pads, I have some die cuts. I've got all my, there are my stamps, my dialogue stamps go in there so I know exactly um, where they are. That's my shimmer inks and then there is uh, sticker books. And it's great because I just pick it up, I take it up to the house or whatever, however I want to. Um... Is that the wrong way around? There we go. So let's stamp. Oops. So if you have a to do to done list, what you do is you just write on everything that you've already done. And then you can tick everything off and it makes me feel marvellous, marvellous. So I'm just going to pop that back in there. And then I'm going to write an N. There we go. So, 
what did I accomplish on this day? I, um, oh, I sorted all the boxes. Tick. Finished a doll blanket. Tick. I um, sorted out my threads. Tick. Put the waste out to be collected. Tick. And what else? What else did I do? Um, oh, I watered my plants. There you go. Now, how much more accomplished do I feel? Tick, 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 tick. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So that's what I do. So what else? I'm going to colour them. But I just think this is looking a little bare. If you look, I've only got sort of stencil here, here and here. So I feel as though I've only done one stencil there. So I just feel as though I need another bit of stenciling so how about and you can always go back in and um, add stencils afterwards but just with a um, just finely so I'm just going to lightly add some stenciling there so I'm keeping that in that area down here you know, you can always go back in and add. Your page is never finished till it's finished. It's as simple as that. Yeah, and then we've got some over here. You're not going to see as much because it's behind the leaf, but we can still... Oops. We can still colour it. That's a bit better. That's making it not as not as exposed to me. So I'm going to colour that in with a green. Let's have let's have dirty martini because it looks like this here. So let's just colour that in. Mm, maybe that's a bit dark, but I'm, um, it's there now, so it'll be fine. It's a little bit. You can see it from heaven. But uh, I'm sure my mum will appreciate it. I should have gone with a lighter colour, but hey ho. Do, 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 do. It probably looks very dark actually as well because the other images are not coloured in at the moment. They're still bare. So... I'm happy with that. It's not there's not as much blankness going a lot going on there really. Actually, do you know what I'll do? I'll take that as well and I shall just draw along these lines and the boxes so that it matches. Matches up. Yep. So let's give everything a um Let's colour everything then. So, let's get the warms. The background's mainly cool, so let's get the warms in. in. And I want, I want this sand and vanilla custard, I think, for the, um, the deer. I'm just going to colour him in and I shall do his um, antlers a different colour. We'll do those in the melted chocolate, I think. And these animals, I drew them onto pages from my dad's... Um, sign and cosign book so 
you can actually see the numbers underneath. He still, he collect, he had it and it was actually, I think it was his, his older brothers and he kept it all those years. So I like to feel as though I'm using that. So this bunny rabbit, we're going to, bunny rabbit, gosh. Um, this bunny rabbit, we're going to use with uh, pink, I think. Where is, where is rose quartz? There's rose quartz. So again, I'm going to do similar. I'm going to use the melted chocolate. And then um, I'm going to put that, I think I'm going to put that in there first. And then I'm going to add some of this. That's it. And then I'm going to blend. There we go. Then you get a nice soft blend. And I shall have the ears in the same pink. Ooh, what should we have for the, for the heart? I think we'll have this same pale pink actually. Let's do, and because I'm using a pale colour first, I can paint everywhere and then I can come back to that and go over those spots with a darker colour. Again, these were drawn on his cosine book as well. So, and this, and this at the bottom. So, right, what shall we do for the wings? Let's have, let's have some bright pink. Let's have some bright pink with a bit of purple in. Okay, so I'm going to do up here and here. And I'm going to add a bit of purple just in the edges to um, shade and it'll bl blend out as I'm doing the other. As I'm going in here, this will just blend itself out. So do some here. And see where it's just giving this lovely shaded look through and then I think I'm going to do this in the purple and I'm going to come down here in the purple this is blotting a bit actually sometimes they were I left them in the window where they were really hot. So I think the pressure, so sometimes you can just burp them like so and you'll be fine. Yeah, it's much better, it's not blotting out now. So I'm going to come along here. Um, I have no idea where I was teaching this class. I should maybe put in pencil at the beginning of all the book because I've, I've taught this so many times in pencil at the beginning of the book I should write down where, where I started each book that would be interesting wouldn't it I start them in class I doodle them on an airplane and then I come home and they just get dumped either here or in my office to finish off another time because I have to start a brand new one every class because I like to do the same as you're doing and that's what you're doing using a new one there we go so that's that so let's have the bunny rabbit's bow the same, let's have, um, so we'll just add, you see when you do it when it's wet, it just blends and you just get this gorgeous shade and that's why I always use my inks, my inks and Tim's water brush, that's why I don't use anything else. Okay, so I've just got to do the little hedge along the bottom and I think I'm going to do that green actually so let's go back let's go back to the cool colours let's 
so I want the same dirty martini and I'm going to use up my chopped pesto there it is for some shading oh I'll tell you what I'm going to do as well I am going to put mushy peas in the holes so it looks as though the background is showing through there we go oh my stomach is making funny noises so I'll do one side of the page at once so I'm going to go in here with the dirty martini somebody's got a drill going I'm not sure if you can pick that up but somebody's got a, a drill going behind me so I'm just going to add a bit of the shading in like so and again if you work fast you're fine if you're a really careful colourer you would have to do like one little bit at a time with this but you can see how lackadaisical I am I don't really care so I just add some in and then it will just blend through and you'll get your lovely shading so there we go Right, I think I am going to... Where's my black pen? Let's have a drink of tea. Mm. I think I'm just going to doodle around the outside of this heart. It sounds as though it's um, like chopping trees down, actually. It's one of those, you know, what's it called? Um, to do your hedge, hedge trimmer that's what it sounds like yeah I like that I might do that on all of it actually let's do it on all the butterfly what I love about journaling is I never I just never know what I'm gonna do I'll look at it and then I decide Oh, I'll add a bit there, I'll add a bit less here. I might go around all of them. It's because that background is very plain. But this is really making it stand out for me. And the rabbit. Nearly done. What does that quote say? Woke up on the wrong side of bed. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that noise outside. There we go. And then, now that this is dry a bit, I want to do my loose doodling. So I, did, I drew it through and then I'm just going to add my loose doodling. And half the time you can't tell if I did this before or after. There we go. Um, and then let's have a look. says Thurs. Thurs. Pop that there. Lost my... And then I just want the fourth. Let's have a small one. And let's have 
a little, let's put a little June. A little June underneath. I know it's redundant because the whole book is June, but it's just nice to add. Oops, wrong basket. And then whatever, don't we can't wait, it's important, remember. Memories. Oh, there's to don't. I knew I'd got a to don't. Yeah. I think I'm going to stamp memories all the way around the outside as a frame. Okay, so I'm going to stamp. Start down here. Oops. Perfect. I do love a frame. There we are. Done. Okay, happy with that now. Let me pop that in there. So there is my page for Thursday the 4th of June. Okay. So what I promised I would do, I would show you, is how to fit these into a cover. So here are some of the covers. These are the covers, some of the covers for the dialogue, okay? I have five different covers and they're a canvas cover and they're meant to sort of fray a bit as you go along to give them that lived in look. So this was the first one. This is Dream. I can't remember the names of them actually. This is one. Oh, oh, I got this one because the inside is upside down. They all have a quote over here that says live your life in colour. This one is the rebel in me will never die, but it was printed wrong. Um, this one here, this is life can be hard, your art shouldn't be. This is art can disturb the comfortable and comfort the disturbed. And then this was a blank one. So I do blank ones as well that to come totally white and then you can colour them. So I did this in class because I was showing different ways. So that's why it looks different uh, because I showed them this, how to do this. I showed them how to do this. I showed them how to do this. Okay, so these are the different types of covers you can get. Here's another one. This is another one that was blank and I decorated. So you can see I stamped on it and I decorated like that. So here are the um so this was uh, april this was may look how fat they are compared to this one um and this is june yep and then you see i can hear this is some from this was some from christmas this was 2018 i think but like at christmas because i had so much to say there's two i did two books from christmas there's a january book you see I have loads of them that all have you know different bits and pieces in and they fit in can you see here oh here also look I have my stencils in there um they you know I also have like the little plastics that fold over all kinds of things like this so I just want to show you what you can do to fit them in what you need is you need some of the elastic bands here we go they come in a pack of four really cheap like two pound for the four so you need some of these and then um you need to choose a cover so i'm gonna choose oh, i don't know i'm gonna choose the upside down one <laughs> so i'm gonna choose the upside down cover okay and these covers they come with an elastic so you can do this 
And there's lots of videos of me doing this on YouTube. I'm going to have it this way. And then you have one elastic that goes in and it goes round the top. So you have this one elastic as well, okay? So if you're quite new and you only have two books, all you, can, all you need to do is you open it at the middle page and you just slot one under the elastic, okay? And then you get another book which you open at the middle page and slot it under the other one. Oh, <laughs> oh this, is the, this is the wrong one. Let me do it on another page. That very rarely happens. If it does, you just tie a knot in it. But that because that's wrong, I'm going to start again with the one I was going to do. So we take this one. I've never seen that ping before. And you just pop it under the, like this, so. And then this one, I'm just going to take and I'm just going to pop it under there. So you can put two books in here. No problem at all, okay? You can carry them around. If you want four books, what you would do is, you would just take this one out. Let's just take them both out. And you would take two books... Get them in the middle again. There we go. Put them back to back. Take one of these elastics and snap it over the top. So these books are joined by this elastic. And then what you would do is you would put, slide it under the elastic that was in. So two go in there. So let's get, here's another one. So open it in the centre, open it in the centre, put the elastic round, and these two could go under these. Okay, so can you see you've got four books in there. If you want to put more things in there, say I want to put some of my stencils in there, I can wrap them round a book or... I can just put them through the center elastic. So now on this one elastic, I've got two books and I've got stencils. But I could easily fit another book in here. I just go to the middle. Let's take one of the books out of here. Let's take this Christmas one. And I can put that through as well. So there we go. In here, I have got five books. And I've got some stencils. I also have pockets that wrap round and I have little plastics that you can put your pens and things in. But that's how you put them all in a book. Okay, so see you tomorrow.